We shall read it a little first. Uh, the uh, people that have the English Bibles and the French Bibles, the people that have the English Bibles and the French Bibles, please read for yourselves. First uh, Corinthians chapter 11, verse 17 to 34. Ariko izo ngiye kubategye kubusimbi bashimira kuko amateraniro yanyu aho kubungura abatera gusubira inyuma irya mbere iyo muteraniye mu iteraniro numva ko mwiremamo ibice kandi byo ndabyemera ho hato kuko nanone ibice bikwiriye kuba muri mwe kugira ngo abemewe bagaragarizwe ukwabo byonge kandi iyo muteraniye hamwe Himuwa mutera nijwe no gusangira ifunguro ry’umwami wacu by’ukuri. Kuko iyo murya umuntu wese yikubiribye agacura abandi. Nuko umwe arasonza na undi akarengwa. Mbese ye ntimufite ingo zanyu ngo aba ari zo muriramo no kunyweramo mugayisha mutyo itororo ry’Imana mugakoza isoni abakene. Mbese mbabwiye mbabwire iki? Mbashime kuri byo simbashime nuko icyo nahawe no mwami wacu kumenya nicyo nahawe nabahaye namwe nuko mwami Yesu ijoro bamugambaniye mo yenze umutsima akawushimira akawumanyagura akavuga ati uyu no mubiri wanje watangiwe mujye mukora mutya kugira ngo munyibuke ni gikomba kigenza ryo bamaze kurya ati kini gikombe kisezerano rishya ryo mu maraso yanje mujye mukora mutya uko muzajya munweraho kugira ngo munyibuke uko muzajya murya uwo mutsima mukanwera kuri cyo gikombe muzaba mwerekana urupfu rw'umwami Yesu kugezaho azazira nicyo gituma umuntu wese uzarya umutsima w'umwami wacu cyangwa uzanywera ku gikombe ke uko bidakwiriye azagibwaho no rubanza rwo gucumura ku mubiri n'amaraso by'umwami nuko umuntu yinire yisuzume abone kurya kuri uwo mutsima no kunywera kuri cyo gikombe koko ufa kurya akanywa atitaye ku mubiri w'umwami abaririye kandi abanywereye kwishyiraho gucirwaho iteka ndetse nicyo gituma benshi muri mwe bagira intege nke abandi bakarwaragurika abandi benshi bakaba basinziriye ariko twakwisuzuma nti twagibwaho no rubanza nyamara iyo ducire urubanza n'umwami wacu duhanirwa nawe kugira ngo tutazacirwaho iteka hamwe nabise nuko bene data ni muteranira gusangira mu rindirane mwami imana ishobora byose mu izina rya Yesu ndagushimiye ngushimiye umwanya mwiza uduhaye reka mwami ibyo twiga bitugirira umumaro ndagusaba ngo ijambo ryawe ukuri kwawe kwigaburo ryera kuze mu mitima yacu turimenye dusobanukirwa icyo rivuga turyubahe kandi mwami twishimire kuryegera kenshi icyubahiro ni kuzo bibiza mu izina rya Yesu uvuga ngo amen 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 imana ishimwe praise the lord ya ubushize rero twabonye iki what did we learn about last time twatangiye nyine kureba kwigaburo ryera we started learning about the holy communion twabonye ko rituruka kuva kera mu isezerano rya kera we saw that it comes from the old testament yatangiriye mu Egiputa it started in Egypt yashushanyaga gucungurwa kw'abana ba Israeli it was indicative of the redemption of the children of Israel bari barahindutse abacakara mu gihe cy'abanyamahanga who had become foreigners who are foreigners and slaves in a foreign land hagombye kumeneka maraso y'umwana w'intama udafite inenge kugira ngo basohoke it was fitting that uh, a, a, a flawless sheep be slaughtered so that the blood is poured twabonye ko rero no mu isezerano rishya we also saw that in the new testament twacungujwe amaraso y'umwana w'intama we were redeemed by the blood of the lamb utagirinenge that was flawless ari we Yesu Kristo and that is Jesus Christ natwe twarimbuheza satani we were also slaves to satan 
Yes, and Jesus redeemed us. He redeemed us with his blood. We saw, we saw how his blood was powerful that time. And even today, it emphasizes the covenant that we have with Jesus Christ. So when we share the Holy Communion, we remember of, uh, we remember of that covenant that cannot be removed or redeemed. We do it in remembrance and reminding that Jesus will come back to take us. That we shall live with him forever. Hallelujah. That is a recap of what we learned last time. Today there were four. We have read 17 verses. What are we going to learn? How do we prepare ourselves to partake of the Lord's table? Uh, the Bible has showed us in this portion of scripture of how people ought to prepare themselves to dine with the Lord. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, Holy Communion is sharing, is dining with the Lord. It means that we are dining with him. We are on the same table with him. That is the first thing. We are with him. Even when we are always with him, that particular time we invited him that we may share with him. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Holy Communion, therefore, the first thing, is for those that have been cleansed by the blood. That is the first thing you ought to know. For those that have accepted Jesus. It's for those that have cleansed themselves with the blood and are prepared. Even in the Old Testament. Before, they were, uh, before the Passover. They, all, they, they had to first cleanse themselves. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, Holy Communion is for those that accepted the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Those that come to the table of the Lord are those that are separated from the world. Are those that turn their backs on, on the world. It's for those that one day proclaimed and said, I've accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Because of that, know very well that there is no holy communion for those that are not born again those that dine with the Lord it's for those that accepted him to be their Lord and Savior may that fall into your heart if there is someone that came with you to church and you see that we are going to have holy communion and you, you've not, you don't remember hearing them having accepted the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior it is good for you to tell that person whisper to them and ask them what, what them. Ask them how far have you gone? Yes, you've have done good to that person. Amen. Amen. The second thing, holy communion, is for those that respect unity. One bread uh, um, for fighting um, uh, divisions or differences. Where do we read that? Uh, I did not give that scripture, but I'll read it for you. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16 and 17. Please hear this word. Please listen and follow. Please hear this word. Mbese siko gusangira amaraso ya Kristo gusangira umutsima 
tumanyagura siko gusangira umubiri wa Kristo nuko ubwo mu mu mutsima rumwe twebwe nubwo turi benshi turi umubiri umwe kuko twese dusangira umutsima umwe imana ishimwe amen um, the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break is it not the communion of the body of Christ for we though many are one bread and one body for we all partake of that one bread yes ashim praise the lord ndagira ngo mwiyumvire mwebwe ubwanyu i want you to hear for yourselves igaburo ryera the holy communion riduhuza twese turi benshi it unites us all of us uh, as many as we are tugasangira igikombe kimwe kivuga isezerano mu maraso ya Yesu and we share one cup that signifies the covenant in tugasangira Jesus tugasangira umugati umwe ivuga umubiri wa Kristo we share that one bread that signifies the body of Christ yes ashimwe cyane praise the lord indeed ni kibazo it is a problem ko wa ya kumeza y'umwami that you go to the lord's table utazirikana ubumwe bw'abana b'Imana when you're not mindful of the unity of the children of god bakundwa ubumwe bw'abizera beloved the unity of the children of god of ubumwe unity ubumwe unity ngo duhura turi benshi that we meet while we are many tugasangira umugati umwe and we share one bread ni bampa bakorinto ba mbere 11 18 mbasomere aho twasomye mwumve we have had read before first uh, corinthians chapter 11 verse 18 na 19 and 19 irya mbere yo muteraniye mwiteraniro numva yuko mwirema mibice kandi byo ndabyemera ho hatu kuko nanone ibice bikwiriye kuba muri mwe ngo abemewe bagaragare ukwabo nabatemewe babe ukwabo for, for first of all when you come together as a church i hear that there are divisions among you and in part i believe it for there must also be factions among you that those who are approved may be recognized among you ntabwo nshaka kujya mu makuru y'icyo Paulo yabwiraga bari abantu I didn't know what to go to the history of what uh, Paul was telling the Corinthians ariko ndashaka kuvuga iki tureba twebwe uyu munsi ari amakuru avuga iki kuri twebwe but I want to emphasize what that means for us today irya mbere wegere igaburo ry'umwami kukukijijwe imana ishimwe first of all you come to the lord's table because you're born again and praise the lord for that ariko cyakabiri bakubwiye but the second thing that you're being told ijambo ry'imana ratubwiye ngo tuzirikane ko turi benshi kandi tujye guhurira mu mubiri umwe the word of the lord has told us that we should be mindful that we are many but we are going to partake of the same thing tujye kurya umugati umwe we are going to eat one bread paulo yabwiye bari abana ati uziko numva inkuru zinyereka ko niyo muje kumeza y'umwami muha mufite meme de division paul says that i have heard of news that you when you come to the even when you come to the lord's table you're still divided among yourselves ati byo byo bishobora kubaho yes i recognize that that is possible ati kuko divisions ishobora gutuma abemewe nabatemewe bagaragara because the divisions could uh, could show who is approved and who is not ariko kuri twebwe uyu munsi bivuga iki bene data but what does that mean to us today bivuga ngo igihe ugiye kwegera meza y'umwana it means that the time when you're going to partake of the lord's table we yegera ufite icyupfa n'umuntu ufite icyupfa n'umuntu if you have an issue against someone ufite icyupfa n'umuntu that if you hold a grudge against a brethren that it is not right anything that separates you from a brother in your heart and you feel there is something that is hindering you from accepting that person in your heart you feel it the word of the lord has told us to be careful don't do something because others are doing it as we continue we shall see how to go about it it is not allowed because we are called one body the holy communion reminds us the unity it reminds us of the same blood one body that he, that redeemed us and we meet in that fellowship in that sharing that reminds us that we are all one there is no jew 
There is no Greek. There is no tall person. There is no short one. There is no female. There is no male. There are no ministers or non-ministers in the church. There is no difference among ourselves. The person, even a person that God saved yesterday, is allowed to come to the Lord's table. But what we are doing, please lay hold of it. Uh, we come to celebrate that one body and one bread is what redeemed us. But how can you celebrate when you still hold a grudge against a brother? And holding a grudge is not the problem. The problem is not wanting to let go of it. We shall come to see that. Do not come to the Lord's table while holding issues against people. And yet you're even going to share with them. It is important for you to know the condition of your heart. Coming to the Lord's table it is a personal issue that brings us together as different members you ought to think about it it is something that you should prepare for Paul said that I see divisions among yourselves. May the Lord help us. There are for those that come to the Lord's table. Should be people that know what they are going to do. Especially because it is profitable for us. Something that is profitable. You must not do it uh, in such a way that you are able to lose that profit. Uh, coming to the Lord's table is a big benefit to someone, to a believer. It is why you must prepare for it so that the benefits that come with, the, uh, with coming to the Lord's table shall come to you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Why am I saying a lot of amen? It's because we, it's possible for us to just get used to something and do it out of routine. But did God, did Paul want us to just fear that Holy Communion? Did Paul want us to fear going for Holy Communion? Oh yeah. No. It is very important. Very important. Uh, in such a way that it is more profitable for you to prepare for it other than uh, for eating it. We are talking about preparing to come to the Lord's table. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord. Therefore, anything that you hold in your heart, uh, that badness, uh, heaviness, uh, not being contented, feeling ungrateful, those things that you hold in your heart, it is, you ought to give it unto the Lord. Give it unto the Lord. Uh, ask for forgiveness where you ought to and come to the, Lord, to the Lord's table with gratitude because it is a day of celebration it is an important day in, in, in the New Testament there are two occasions that are important baptism and holy communion there are things that were commanded you don't get baptized so that you please your pastors you don't come for holy communion because pastor said so the Lord commanded us to do so say amen the third thing holy communion is partaken by that person that respects the church. Let's read. 
honoring the church when we talk about the church we're not talking about the four corners we mean believers fellow believers honoring fellow believers honoring or respecting what the church is before the lord praise the lord praise the lord church i want to tell you that when we talk about the church there are things that you can do to uh, one person as a, as a believer um, as a good person a good christian as a good christian even in yourself you approve of yourself you know you're a good person but let me tell you something you you sin against the church when i talk about the church i'm not talking about the name omega calvary calvary church and all those other churches that, we know. that is not what i'm talking about uh, the church is the unity of all believers you might be a good person individually as an individual but you you don't have good relations with others that is what this scripture tells us honoring or respecting the church respecting that, that is the church honoring the body of Christ why do I emphasize this beloved it's because people don't understand this uh, children of God or believers don't know that the church is a big pillar for the kingdom of God what you do to the church not uh, works how you relate with others how you live with other believers how you honor them it counts before the Lord Amen, Amen. let's read let's read ke uko bidakwiriye tekereza hari uko bikwiriye hari nuko bidakwiriye azagibgaho n'urubanza rwo gucumura ku mubiri n'amaraso by'umwami yes ashim therefore whoever eats the bread this bread or drinks this cup of the lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the lord urumva gucumura ku mubiri n'amaraso ntabwo bavuga cyagikombe gusa na wa mugato you see when they talk about sinning against the 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 um the body and the bread it doesn't they don't talk about the uh, the bread and the cup no kuvuga ngo nokuza kumeza nkabari yabikorino bazaga bamwe bariye abandi baje gufeta baje bararizanye ingemu zabo bagiye kuziriraho bahaje abakene babareba kutitaho abo baniyo bahuye guselebra kutita w'ikimana yagize abo bana it is not uh, it is not just about the cup and the bread itself but people that come together you not being mindful of those people when they come together coming like how they used to do it in the corinthians where they would come drunk or eat a lot and they didn't mind about the poor among them so kuvuga ngo muza kwigaburo rya uyu munsi ntabwo wabona ngo abantu baje kwigaburo rya rabasinze nkuko abakori no bari bameze John Pospa today you may not be able to see that people are coming for holy communion while drunk like the Corinthians ariko but ushobora kwegera meze y'umwami utitaho beneso you can come to the lord's table without being mindful of your brethren aha na hantu hakomeye bene dat believe this is an important issue ntabwo itorero rya Kristo the, the body of Christ is not just a place for salvation. It's not receiving what you want only. Before the Lord, how you relate with others is very important. How you relate with others is important. That is why all those things, how we uh, relate with others, how when they hurt us, what we do how we uh, hurt them what is heavy upon us it, would, it take us to the fifth uh, uh, point uh, 
the whole, holy communion is for those that have taken time to examine themselves mpamvu, that is why ubwiza bwaryo uh, it's beauty twarabibonye ku cyumweru gishize ko hari abantu begera meza y'umwami bagakira indwara abandi ayo maca kubira karangira abandi bagasubizwa mwigaburo rugera harimo kwibuka igihango cya Yesu ku buryo bijya bikora ibitangaza uh, in holy communion there is remembrance of the uh, blood of Jesus because it does miracles because people come uh, to holy communion and some are healed and others uh, forgive others and because in the blood of Jesus miracles happen so it is not something that we should treat anyhow that is why Paul has brought us to a place where we ought to examine ourselves in everything therefore so that you may not sin against the church that you don't sin against your brethren you don't sin against the blood and the flesh of Jesus Christ have time to examine yourself do not just run away from holy uh, just come closer to it but examine yourself uh, the, the holy communion is partaken by those that take time to examine themselves and repent 28 and 29 kukupfa kurja akangwa atitai kumubiri umami awariri yekanda bangwere yekwishi raho guchiru kwa ho iteka isuzume itonde ni nguomga kurjejera ni nguomga kwa uwanu mjisha wario ariko fatu mganya witonde usuzume ubaniru tebe neso uhagazute wa ugawe you ought to examine yourself uh, don't just run away but take time to examine yourself to repent to be careful of how you relate with other people how you treat the church the regard in which you hold your brethren because a holy communion is a blessing don't just run away from it uh, I like to say that why do you run away from Holy Communion? Why don't you instead uh, organize, put in order that thing that makes you run away from it? Because he who runs away from Holy Communion while they are born again, it's because there is something that is uh, not right in them. Why don't you instead tell the Lord Jesus? so that he helps you overcome that so that you're able to go for holy communion amen amen it is like coming to the uh, value of, of your healing and you know very well that people that went through that pool were healed they ha you had time to prepare yourself and then when you come back to that pool you say that let people that want to go in me I want to go in oh yeah no. Don't run away from no the holy It is your blessing. I've uh, come. I conclude by talking about it's the repercussions. All those that we've talked about. It calls you to uh, to honor the holy community. Honor coming to the Lord's table. Uh, verse thirty says. Let's say, Nicho jituma iyo umuntu atabyitayeho benshi muri mwe bagira intege nke abandi bakarwaragura yes aho ngaho asobanure intege nke that is for this reason many are weak and sick abandi benshi bakaba barasinziriye and many sleep murumva abapfuye do you hear that some died abarwaragurika they the they are weak uh, they are sick and those that are, that are weak in the journey of Christianity beloved have we heard that it means that we just don't come to partake of the Lord's table it is important for you to partake of the Lord's table while having prepared for it but in your life generally you ought to honor the things that we have just mentioned because if you do not honor the, the flesh and the blood you can fall sick 
some might become weak and some might even sleep but it doesn't mean that all those that uh, sleep or are weak or are sick is because of that but it, the bible says that some among them 31 for if we judge ourselves we would not be judged 32 32 but when we are judged we are chastened by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world I might end uh, there as well examining yourself is where we shall go holy home. communion is uh, to your benefit the day you will hear that you are going to uh, partake of the Lord's table you should know that that is in your interest uh, those of old used to even have holy communion in their homes so that they may celebrate and remember what the Lord did uh, I want to tell you that if you've uh, cleansed yourself and uh, at peace with your brethren it, that is not uh, but all the time that you're going to partake of the Lord's table uh, be mindful of who you are ask for forgiveness where you ought to do so remember how you relate with others remember always how you relate with others remember how you relate with others Yes, Praise the Lord indeed. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for continuing reminding us how you are. Thank you for the covenant in your blood. Thank you for the bread and for the cup. Thank you that we are part of that body. I thank you for the unit of believers. I thank you that you enable us to I thank you that you remind us to come and take over the table so that, so that all the blessings in, your, in the cup and the flesh shall be to us and that we should do it in remembrance of you till the day we shall live with you in heaven thank you Lord Jesus in Jesus' name Amen, Amen. Kawe